Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Let's see what news do we have for today. Indigenous Parliament of Armenia of Western Armenia. Return to the lost homeland, Raymond Ruben Berberian. Sons of Western Armenia, William Saroyan. The view of Mush covered with mountains of Sasu, 1923. The climate conference to be held in Baku is similar to Hitler receiving the Nobel Peace Prize. The oldest countries in the world. Aliyev's aims is to dissolute the Armenian state. President Armenia Gabrahamian represented the indigenous parliament of Armenia of Western Armenia. It was particularly said in the message. Thank you, Mr. President. As mentioned during the first session, the expert group that dealt with issues to strengthen the opportunities for participation of indigenous peoples in the work of the Human Rights Council. It was concluded that representatives and institutions of indigenous peoples should have the opportunity to participate in all sessions of the Human Rights Council. Indigenous peoples will appreciate it as related to their interests. They should be allowed to participate in regular and special sessions of the Council, in interactive dialogues with the special rapporteur, with the special procedures, mandate and other mandate holders, as well as in the work of the expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples and other relevant mechanisms, roundtables, periodic universal review sessions, informal consultations. The Parliament of Armenia of Western Armenia, representing the region of Eastern Europe, Central Asia and Transcaucasia, fully endorsed this proposal and deeply thanks all organizers for the constructive work that will allow all indigenous peoples to realize their right to self-determination. Raymond Ruben Berberian talked about the return to the lost homeland. I have the impression that the genocide and deportations carried out against the Armenian people were pre-planned by the Lord of the Universe. Banished from his homeland, Armenian had to cut ties with his roots and assimilate into the world, showing his creativity and striving to stand out in all his endeavors. We know that the divining borders of humanity are more ideological than territorial. Nationalities are simple strategic arrangements, sometimes a community with commercial value, the price of which is determined in the market of universal ignorance. God is with us. Raymond Ruben Berberian. The viewers, the full passage you can read in our website. William Saroyan is one of the most prestigious American writers of the first half of the 20th century. He portrays the hardships and joys of rural America through the example of rural California Central Valley. Winner of the Pulitzer Prize Academy Award and New York Drama Critics Club Award. Saroyan was born in 1908 in France, no? His parents in 1915, before the genocide against Armenia, they moved from Bitlis to the United States. His father died at the young age, and Saroyan had to live in an orphanage with his brother and sister. Years later, they were reunited with their mother. He has published many novels, short stories, and plays, including My Heart is in the Mountains, Human Comedy, The Brave Boy on the Flying Swing, My Name is Aram, The Time of Your Life. The view of Mush covered with the mountains of Sasu, 1923. One of the photographs taken in 1923 are invaluable documents that preserve important parts of Mush's historical and cultural heritage. Mush, a once powerful Armenian city, is today one of the painful memories of our past, and the Sasun Mountains, a symbol of Armenian freedom, are glorified in our culture as a place of heroic struggle. The climate conference to be held in Baku is similar to Hitler receiving the Nobel Peace Prize. Baku has used all its international leverage to ensure a large representation at the event, which will testify to Baku's growing international reputation. The climate conference to be held in Baku is similar to, for example, Saddam Hussein being entrusted to organize the Olympic Games in Baghdad, or, for example, Hitler being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. The international community turns a blind eye to the international crimes committed by Baku, but it is not excluded that there will come a time when the Aliyev regime will have to answer. On the other hand, it is ridiculous to hold the climate conference in a country whose economy is based on the export of hydrocarbon energy carriers, which pollute the atmosphere, not to mention that the export of oil in Bakum cost nature dearly. The French website Commentarism addressed the oldest nations of the world, paying particular attention to Armenia as a nation civilization. Armenia, which was founded in 860 BC, is recognized as one of the first countries in the world to adopt Christianity as an official religion. Its history and culture over thousands of years have formed a rich heritage that has received international recognition. 
Along with Armenian, Greece and Italy also play an important role. Ancient Greece, particularly Athens and Sparta, are the cornerstones of philosophy, art and democracy. Ethiopia is also considered one of the oldest countries in the world, whose history begins thousands of years ago. All these countries, pr presenting their culture and historical values, remind us of the rich heritage of human history. Aliyev's aim is to dissolute the Armenian state. There is a message on the internet that Baku demands monitoring of Armenia's mining industry. On 16 December, Richard Moore, the head of the Secret Intelligence Service of Great Britain, arrived in Armenia, after which it was circulated that the mines of Artsakh had already been given to the British anglo asian Mining Company by Aliyev's decree. All this may indicate that Baku is working to put pressure on the economy of Armenia, further contributing to the dissolution of the Armenian state. Aliyev's real goal is the full capitulation of Armenia. When talking about the peace agenda, this should be taken into account. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.